So what you can also do inside of Microsoft Project is uh, detect how much uh, slack time there is for each of the tasks. So slack time is the amount of um, a time that a task can slip before it actually goes around and overlaps onto another task. So you can go around and see like how much you have um, a slack time for each of the tasks as well. So to do that, you can go around over here on to add a column right here and then type in total slack right here just like this. So if you were to go around and click, then you can see the slack time. And another thing that you can do is you can go around onto the Gantt chart format tab and then you can enable slack over here and you can see the slack time right here just like this so it highlights out the slack time right here and you can see for storyboarding right here the slack time is 42 days right here uh, while for production you can see it's 1.63 days right here and for editing it's a whole lot 78 days right here so you can view like how much of here and there a particular task can be before it starts affecting out the other tasks right here if I were to go around and move this let's say for example you can see that the slack time is now minus 18 days me meaning it's overlapping too much right here and this means for a possible delay of the work and over here as I actually move this you can see that it actually affects out the other task over here as well so if I were to press ctrl z then you can see that everything fixes out just like this right here and that is how you can enable out the slack column the total slack column in order to see uh, the available slack time and even highlight out the slack times right here on the Gantt chart timeline by enabling the slack checkbox inside of Microsoft project so I hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe